With the current Liberal government still trying to deal with its worst political crisis, the Prime Minister shuffled his cabinet again. That is twice in less than two months. And Jody Wilson-Raybould was a factor each time. The first to demote her, this time to replace her. Three ministers have new job titles. Lawrence McCauley takes over Wilson-Raybould's Veterans Affairs file. Marie-Claude Bibeau picks up agriculture. And Maryam Monsef adds international development to her portfolio. With less than eight months to go before the federal election, they'll help try to repair the government's reputation and defend the way it's handled SNC-Lavalin. Katie Simpson begins our coverage. Is there still a deal on the table for SNC? Lovely day this morning, isn't it? Would you like to come answer some of our questions? The Prime Minister dismissed reporter questions on his way into the cabinet shuffle, but the SNC-Lavalin affair followed him right inside Rideau Hall. Justin Trudeau had to stand next to Michael Warnick, the country's top civil servant and the man identified by Jody Wilson-Raybould as a key player in the alleged pressure campaign. Wernick had the task today of swearing in Wilson Raybould's replacement as Veterans Affairs Minister. I, Lawrence Macaulay, do solemnly and sincerely promise and swear that The newly shuffled ministers seemed frustrated they couldn't avoid repeated questions about their former cabinet colleague and the impact her story is having on the Liberal team. I think actually it's a moment to work even closer together and to focus on what is really important to us. I see no problem with morale. We got a job to do and we're doing it. Thank you very much. Oral questions, question oral. There's no escape for the Liberals in the House of Commons either. Rather than running scared, will the Prime Minister show even a fraction of the courage of his former Attorney General and testify <coughs> under oath at the Justice well, Committee? Secretary. So when are they going to do the right thing and launch a full public inquiry so Canadians can get the whole story? Wilson Raybould's claims overshadowed question period, the last one before a two-week break. If all of this wasn't damaging enough for Trudeau at home, the fallout is finally spilling over into international affairs. China wants to know how Canada can claim to have an independent court system when it now faces serious allegations of political interference. For months, Beijing has been demanding Ottawa intervene in the extradition case of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou. Trudeau has refused, saying Canada's justice system is independent. Canada is a country of the rule of law, and we will uh, make sure that the rule of law is properly and fully followed. A claim the Chinese are now publicly questioning because of the SNC debacle. Katie, we're almost to the end of what's been such a dramatic week on Parliament Hill, and we already know that next week's going to be pretty interesting. And that is because of one person, Jerry Butts. He quit as the Prime Minister's top advisor, and on Wednesday, he'll present his version of events to the Justice Committee. Now, when he quit, he said he did nothing wrong. And some Liberal MPs that I've been speaking with are quite frustrated by that. Because if he'd said, well, he didn't intend to put any inappropriate pressure, but he's sorry if he did, if he'd said something like that, it could have given the Liberals some sort of political cover. But he didn't. He made no apologies, and now we're going to hear his side of the story next week. Wednesday, looking forward to it. Katie Simpson in Ottawa tonight. Thank you. Thanks.